Hi everyone, welcome back. So today um, we are having a seafood boil. I, ha I have crawfish, shrimp, these are bigger shrimp, um, king crab of course, and mussel. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh, I have corn and of course some lemon. And here I do have the Cajun sauce, Cajun butter sauce that I made. So yeah, let's get started. I'm excited. So I, as I told you guys before, I'm not really a big fan of the black one, black mussel, but this is what I can, I can find today. So that's what we're having today. Let's start with that. Gotta get some lemon. Tasty. I forgot my rice. We'll see if we need rice though. Mm. Crawfish. Oops. Shrimp. I feel like I get cut off. Wow. It's good. Another shrimp. show you guys that looks good really good sauce is hot This is delicious. Mm. He don't want to come out. I feel like I haven't uploaded a video for a while. This is the leftover king crab that I have, by the way. Um, when I did the whole king crab, yeah, this is the leftover. So good.
so sweet. Keep coming up. Mm. I guess you don't want to come out. This is a good platter. Nothing better really when you have um, different kind of seafood. Good. So much meat. some lemon in there. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you guys um check out my Instagram which uh, the link is down in the description I have done a lot of um, new bag yes I made a lot of new bag because I will be um, launching my website soon 
that's why I made some bags so yeah I did post all of the bag that I made so check it out and let me know what you think about it I would really appreciate also if you follow me <laughs> Yes, this year my line, my bag line will be lounge and I will be selling them. And I would appreciate every single support that you guys can give me. If you guys are curious what what's my favorite sauce for the seafood ball I like all the sauce that I use this one the coconut of course um I know I like plain butter and garlic but my old time favorite that if I have to if you will ask me if I can only have one sauce the one that I would use is the seafood sauce oh my god that thing's good I did copy some of the ingredients or at least the way and how you make it by sass but i used um the homemade what do you call that um fermented fish sauce so yeah i get it from philippines from my family and that thing is good It's made out of anchovies, fish, the one thing I like about that is because um, the fish sauce is in the salty side while the seafood is a little bit sweet for me. So it's really good combination. <clears throat> oh, this is spicy and the seafood sauce you can make it spicy. But the one thing I like about the spiciness of the seafood sauce is you use um fresh chili and the chili spiciness is just I don't know it just way better
And also for this sauce and the coconut sauce, they're very, very rich. Well, the seafood sauce, not really, just a little salty, which I like. It's Ellen that one. It's a little surprise for me. Wow, I'm getting full. Mm -mm. I went to the store today to get some snow crab. Mm -hmm. Cause they were on sale. They usually sell it for um Sixteen bucks a pound, and this time they sell it for eleven. That's a big savings, five dollars a pound. So yeah, I got some, and that will be for the next videos. So good. Mm -mm. Sorry, I didn't have rice today because I did have corn, and also if I eat rice, there's no way I can finish it. Well, every now and then I like to finish my food in the camera. Because I know some people like that.
so much better. I have very low tolerance of butter. Yes, I'm back to that. That's why I like the seafood sauce. Because it's I feel like it's more healthier than this. Now I feel like I know it's more healthier. Because the butter itself I can't. So I have king crab left. I can't I can't do it anymore. I'm done. So yeah, don't forget to um, check out my Instagram down down below. I have my son's uh, Aiden, Aiden's Instagram there too and also their YouTube channel. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to send me love on my Instagram and also for my sons. And I will see you guys next time.